Well, the governor of California must decide this month if he's going to sign a bill requiring middle and high school students to start no earlier than 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's a change that the American Academy of Pediatrics has been pushing for years now, and some school districts here in Colorado are already on board. Health Specialist Kathy Walsh here. I mean, this is really to combat the, the sleepiness epidemic. That's right. Yeah. Insufficient sleep, you know, experts say it can cause poor academic performance, weight gain, depression, anxiety, and substance abuse. Cherry Creek Schools made the time change last year, and Littleton is doing it this year. The California legislation would make it statewide. More than three million students in California could soon get some extra shut-eye if California's school start time bill gets signed into law. It would require middle and high schools in the state to start no earlier than 8.30 a.m. According to the CDC, 60 percent of middle schoolers and 70 percent of high schoolers do not get the recommended amount of sleep per night, and that could negatively affect their health and learning. It impacts every aspect of their functioning, so when you don't get enough sleep, the brain is not doing the proper development during night. National Jewish sleep psychologist Dr. Lisa Meltzer has been consulting with Cherry Creek Schools, now in their second year of making the time change. Surveys show the number of students now getting eight hours of sleep has more than doubled. And that just gives them the best possible um, opportunity for success, both in the classroom and then in the rest of their life. The CDC says to improve your children's sleep, make sure they consistently go to bed and wake up at the same time, even on weekends. Keep bedrooms at a cool 65 to 70 degrees. Impose a media and electronics curfew and dim the lighting. Again, Cherry Creek Schools and Littleton Public Schools have changed their school start times. Jefferson County right now is studying it. Still adapting to those changes. Yes, you are, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, Kathy.